Let's look at the design of an HP 8558B spectrum analyzer plugin. It's an analog spectrum analyzer. It runs from 0.1 to 1500 megahertz. So the input's on the front in an end connector. And the first thing it goes through is an attenuator, a step attenuator, mechanical step attenuator. And it has a diode limiter to protect things. But let's start with the uh, first mixer. The first uh, mixer has a local oscillator that is a YIG oscillator. In the first mixer, we have also a low-pass filter and a power splitter. And the power splitter uh, runs out to a B and C on the front panel. So you have access to the LO on the front panel if you want to add external test things that require you to have the, um, the local oscillator. It's a microstrip filter design and, and uh, mixer design. And it's kind of that black magic stuff I don't quite understand, but uh, the maintenance manual has a picture of what it looks like. Now, the YIG oscillator is a voltage-controlled oscillator, and it allows you to sweep the frequency. So as you sweep the voltage, it sweeps the frequency. The frequency range of the YIG oscillator is 2.05 to 3.55 gigahertz. So the incoming signal is mixed with the YIG, and the output is 2050 megahertz. This intermediate frequency then gets sent through a three-cavity bandpass filter to clean things up. Then it goes into a second mixer, a second conversion. The local oscillator in the second conversion is a 1748.6 megahertz. So the output of the second conversion is 301.4 megahertz. That then goes into a third mixer. The local oscillator there is 280 megahertz, and the output is 21.4 megahertz. This then goes into a bandwidth selectable filter. This design is a two-pole filter. There's one pole, an amplifier, and then a second pole. There's either a, a wideband inductor capacitor type lump element filter, or for narrower band passes, there is a crystal filter that's also tunable in bandwidth. And here's what that uh, PC board looks like. Next is a step gain amplifier. There's a selectable 10, 20, and 20 dB amplifier section. And here's the PC board that that resides on. The output of the step gain amplifier then goes through a second filter that's identical to the first filter. It is also a two-pole filter, either inductance capacitor or crystal, identical to the first one. The output of the second filter then goes into a logarithmic amplifier. A diode provides the logarithmic mathematics for the amplifier. So that's it. That's the complete spectrum analyzer from, from front to back. There's a couple other circuits to generate a ramp signal to sweep the oscillator and control voltages and stuff inside, but that's the basics of it.